Well, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, it was like some something in my uh, phone uh, had a little bit of a glitch there, but uh, but this will be able to be part one of the uh, Formula One uh, World Championship. And remember, we're at the Mexican Grand Prix. And if you missed our previous one, which was the Japanese Grand Prix, be sure to check it on Speed Japo Three uh, channel. And that was my previous race there. We did a good job there. We won the championship and we're a 19 time uh, champion. So we are going to be starting P16 after that penalty. With an engine change into the kinetic unit, but this might be the last time we might change those units because uh, I hope these others will last in the next uh, three races. So we're going to start in P16 in the Mexican Grand Prix. So this will officially be part one of the Formula One 2019 career mode. This is the Mexican Grand Prix at the Autodromo Armando Rodriguez track. And we already won our 19th uh, championship. If you watched that, it was a great three-way battle between me, Leclerc, and uh, Hamilton. But we're, we qualified P2 um, during the qualifying, but we are facing a grid penalty, so we're dropping way back into uh, 16th after an engine change and also a, uh, a, and a kinetic unit change. And we could be able to do it in four stops, but we'll be able to see what, what we're going to do. We're, we're going 71 laps in this race. We could make it a two-tire strategy or maybe go with the two soft tires and try to manage them to 17 laps and then maybe go uh, the medium tires the rest of the way. And everyone, if one wants to join my Speed Jacob 3 channel, feel free to subscribe and uh, feel free to have uh, more people uh, into the mix And as I'll continue to do Season 1. And uh, I announced that Season 2, when I go to the AMG Mercedes, I will be doing uh, full coverage of her or maybe 30 laps to go but I'll make my decision to see what I'm going to do and this will be my final race with my old steering wheel because I checked the diagnostic reports uh, on my controller and uh, my controller wasn't doing my left turn glitching and it most certainly is that it looks like my steering wheel is starting to wear out so I'm going to get a more better quality and convenient steering wheel in order to prevent that so that way it, this will never happen in any of these races and especially online so I don't get too aggressive so anyway here we go the Mexican Grand Prix we get our formation lap we're starting in P16 after taking a, a grid penalty for changing the engine in the kinetic unit remember it doesn't show that so I'm just gonna take it easy out there remember I already won the championship so uh, I'm gonna be really careful uh, out there and uh, so I'm just going to have a more relaxing race in the final uh, four races of the season for Mexico, USA, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi. I may have to flash back again because uh, I made a collision with Kafia. Oh man, why did I have to do that? I'm not disqualified from the race uh, because I'm just going to go and uh, start in my formation lap. I just got a little too aggressive with Kafia. And the weather for the uh, Mexican Grand Prix is going to be all beautiful. But Mexican track is a short uh, Formula One circuit. This is the fifth shortest Formula One circuit uh, on the calendar. The shortest one is uh, going to be the Brazilian Grand Prix, which will be in the next two races. The next race will be my home soil Grand Prix, which will be the... Uh, and also Daniel Cafiat has also gotten into the uh, formation. Uh, but we're not going to get penalized. We're only penalized in the formation lap for making contact. We're trying to wait for the uh, the other cars to come by. There you see they're coming by on the baseball stadium. I've had a lot of trouble uh, speeding up in the baseball stadium a little bit. 
And here come all the other drivers uh, coming into their formation lap as we get ready for the uh, Mexican Grand Prix. And my teammate Sergio Perez will start eighth in the race. They see in the back uh, Verstappen and uh, four of the other drivers have taken grid penalties. And here we go, the fireman lights coming on. And we are underway in the Mexican Grand Prix. Well, let's see what we could do. Let's hope we don't make any contact. Look, it is getting very crowded over there. Oh, a little feisty over there with the, one of the one of the rentals. And I look at that. I move up to 16 to 9th. After passing over there. Let's see if I don't hit my teammate there. A little contact between me and uh, Lucas Weber. And I move up into 7th place at all in one lap. slow down coming into that turn, but that's all right. Well, I got right side wing damage, but that's okay. Let's hope it doesn't affect my performance. I think it was because of when I made contact with uh, Hulkenberg, I, I went on through. And I get around Botas and I'm now into P6. And DRS now will be available on lap three. Let's see if I can try to get around Grosjean. He's having a good race so far. He's running in P5 right now. Let's see if I can try to get around him. Maybe on the outside. He's still there. And I get around him for fifth place. That was a nice move. Nice pass. Gasly is now the fastest car out there in the Red Bull. battle right there between Hamilton and it looks like that's Devon Butler. He is having a great race so far, running in second place.
Look at the great battle coming up ahead. Is that Butler trying to get around Hamilton? That's the battle for the lead right there. And now they slow down. Because it looks like, it looks like Butler was trying to get around Hamilton for the lead, but now he uh, hesitated a little bit. And that pulled the gap up for being ghastly to, to pull forward. Uh, coming out of this turn. And here we go. And v Vettel and Gasly both have DRS, and Butler has nothing. He's going to lose second place out of there. Uh, behind Gasly. A little pushing and shoving is necessary and Butler is now up to third. coming up. I might be getting around Butler for the lead. And I do get around Butler. And look at Hamilton and uh, Battle going at it for the lead. I will have DRS and I'm going to close in on the Mercedes and the Ferrari. They're still fighting for it for the lead. Oh yeah, here I come. Here comes the Japanator. Well, I knew I was going to come after these guys. And I'm... And we heard that Lewis Hamilton has just won his home soil racetrack, the British Crown Prix. close to Vettel and Hamilton and they're still going at it for the lead.
Alan Hamilton trying to go for the lead. It looks like the medal's got him. And he does. So we have a safety car, and it's for Kimi Räikkönen, and he uh, broke down. He's out of the race. Safety car is out because Kimmy Rankin did not get his car uh, and, and over in the pit, and then my teammate Gasly is going into the pits. And my teammate Perez, uh, excuse me, is going to the pits. Well, we only have nine laps in, into this race, and uh, And congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. He wins uh, his home soiled uh, race and he wins his sixth British Grand Prix. And there you see up ahead, there's the retirement of Kimi Raikkonen's Alfa Romeo car. And he'll be done for the day. And that's what brought in our first uh, full course safety car. are still fresh. Yeah, I'm just running comfortably in third place. You know, I have the championship one, and Vettel is now leading this race. So I'm just uh, relaxing and enjoying my race. making sure I keep my steady pace so that way I don't ram into Lewis Hamilton. I'm going to have to flashback because Hamilton hesitated a little bit. You know, sometimes this Formula 1 2019 game can have a few glitches uh, of its own besides uh, my controller, <laughs> my steering wheel controller. And I'm making sure that I don't hit him again.
Okay, now we're back up to racing speed. Here's the restart on lap 11. Let's see if we can try to get around Hamilton. Now we can spend about 19 laps out there. And I'm just taking my patience. I'm seeing where I could pass. I could pass Hamilton right there, but look at that. And look at that, I passed Hamilton and Vettel. Let's see if it tries to stick in. I'm still around Vettel. And I take the lead. I take the lead here in the Mexican Grand Prix. And Gasly puts in a little bit of a gap over Hamilton. still on my tail. He could still try to take a lead of this thing. Well, remember, we have no DRS yet until the next lap. I think it will be on lap 13 that will be activated. Vettel's going to have uh, DRS and he's going to come right by me.
Now that was going to have no DRS uh, coming up ahead of me. But I know he's still behind me and everything. And we're the only three schmucks uh, out there racing good here at the Mexican Grand Prix. While Gasly and, uh, and Butler have disappeared. I remember our next pit stop was going to be on lap 19. But we'll stay out there until uh, either Battle or Hamilton pits. And it looks like Vettel is losing momentum over me, and I'm still leading. So Sergio Perez in his home soil uh, country here in Mexico, he lives here, is running in 8th place. <clears throat> Gasly's running in 4th, Butler is 5th. Uh, And Vettel and Hamilton have now uh, pitted. Let's see what they're going to put on. Oh, Hamilton puts on the mediums. But remember, I don't have to pit until lap 19. Now, racing point for now is 1-2 in the race. I saw that uh, Hamilton did go with mediums. Well, Perez is running 1-2 right now, but he's working on his strategy. It looks like we're doing a good job managing our tires.
So Vettel did take the fresh sauce, so we're going to be taking the fresh sauce uh, anyway. And then on the next lap, we are going to pit. Perez is running in second, and a uh, good run for Stroll right now. He's running in third, but remember, he has to make a pit stop. After 19 of 71 laps, and me and my teammate Perez are for now 1 2. Remember, Perez pitted on during the safety car period on lap 9, so he's eventually going to stay out there. Well, I'm going to go in to make my uh, first round of pit stops. to the pits. So my teammate Perez is now going to be leading this race. Let's see if I can try to beat uh, Vettel out of the pits. Remember, I have four laps fresher soft tires than Vettel, because Vettel could have three laps ago, so I have three laps fresher tires than Vettel. And it will give me a little advantage over him. Looks like the crowd must be uh, cheering, um, cheering highfully because our ho home soil uh, man, Sergio Perez, is now in the lead of this Mexican Grand Prix. The crowd must be warm right now uh, uh, from him leading this race. And I'm running in second place right now. I think this is a pretty good strategy for Sergio Perez. I'm five and a half seconds ahead of him. And I'm pulling away from Vettel because I have three laps fresher tires than Vettel. Well, the next pit stop will be on lap 34.
I'm still two seconds ahead of Vettel. I'll be able to pull away from him maybe in the next couple of laps, uh, just to make sure that my soft tires uh, goes well. I got the fastest lap that time, minute 21.785. About 2.3 seconds ahead of, uh, ahead of my teammate, Sergio Perez. Nice little run uh, today for my teammate. Well, he been it on lap 8, so remember, I have like 10 laps fresher tires than uh, Perez, so I'll be able to take advantage of him again. You may have to uh, conserve team order. I don't need a wing change on this uh, car because the car is handling uh, uh, handling good as it is. And I'm already pulling away from Sebastian Vettel. What a good job today for the Racing Point Mercedes. I think that was a good strategy for Sergio Perez, my teammate. I make sure I don't make contact with him because remember he's my teammate for the final four races of the season. He's having a great run, and this is his home soil. Oh, and a lock up there for Sergio Perez, and I take the lead. I didn't make contact with him. He just had a little bit of a lockout coming into the baseball, entering the baseball stadium, and I take the lead. So now I'm back in the lead, and it looks like he did conserve team order. And here comes Perez, and he takes the lead back. I'm going to back off from the throttle because, remember, he's my teammate. I don't want to wreck him. <laughs> Man, how close can you get? Man, we're both having fun out there. I'm just going to hit the brakes on him because... Uh, the cloud must be worn right now with Sergio Perez uh, passing me for the lead. And fantastic day today for the Racing Point Mercedes. And the 
see if he uh, locks the brakes up again. And he does lock the brake up again, and now he can go back in the lead again. Fantastic day today for us. Well, we're going to be careful out there. We're running a dirty air, and battle is coming. And he will have DRS that time. I will do have DRS. And Perez now, my teammate, goes into the pits. So that was a pretty fun battle between the Racing Point Mercedes between me and Perez. And he'll be going into the pits uh, to, to put off his uh, medium tires, and he could go the rest of the way with those tires. Remember, our second pit stop is going to be on lap 34. Yeah, I'm going to call the hunt, but I'm sick of them. 